F1 visa interviews are constantly changing. Not only the questions asked by the visa officer, but also the way they expect you to answer those questions. One such question which has seen a big change is why this university? And this still remains the most important question for a student visa interview. So in this video, I'm going to share an updated framework of structuring the answer with some sample answers so that you can frame a good and a perfect answer for why this university. Keep on watching. So last year, that is in 2023, we had uploaded this video for why this university and this video followed the strategy of finding three to four unique points about the university. You could find these points by doing research on the university website, um, social media handles or signing up for the newsletter. And these three to four points would connect to your profile and demonstrate to the visa officer that you had taken the time to understand about the university, do proper research and show the real interest in studying there. Now this strategy worked great till about June to July 2024 and then we saw a shift, a change in the F1 visa interview and we saw that visa officers were no longer interested in a lot of research about the university. They wanted shorter answers which would have maybe two to three points and also which had more of a personal touch to it. So based on all of this analysis, we have come up with an updated framework for why this university which you can use, let's dive into it. So our updated framework for why this university consists of three parts. Number one, one key analysis. Number two, a personal reason. And number three, a unique point about the university. Now, I'm going to explain each of these three parts in detail and it'll become really clear. Let's start with the first part, one key analysis. Now, this is a point where you're going to tell the visa officer how the university you have chosen is better than the other admits that you have got. It could be better in terms of ranking, either the course or the university, in terms of certain course structure or electives, or in terms of scholarship and other funding from the university. For example, I could say, I chose NYT over my other admits because I got a scholarship of 15% of my tuition fee and there's a unique elective called consumer analytics, which is not there in my other admits. The second part is a personal reason. So you could include one personal reason for choosing the university. It could be the location. Maybe it is located in a big town or in a small quiet place. It could be the industry exposure and the interaction opportunities. It could be the way the university conducted the entire admission process for you and the way they helped you out. Or it could be a famous alumni or somebody you really look up to who is from that university. So to give you an example of personal reason, I could say, studying in NYIT fulfills my dream of living and experiencing New York. The third part of this answer is the unique point. Now this is easy to find. You need to find a unique point by doing your research on the university website. Keep in mind that this unique point needs to relate to your profile and your background. Some examples of unique points could be a professor who has done some research, who has written some paper, or whose area of work connects back to your work experience or your academic. It could be research centers or labs that the university might have, which is relevant to your course. It could be certain extra programs or extra um, opportunities that the university offers apart from your academic. So by doing research on the university website, you'll be able to find one such point and include it in your answer. For example, I could say that NYT has a unique initiative called Small Business Development Center, and this gives us the opportunity to interact with small businesses and learn from them. So here are your three parts to the answer, the key analysis, the personal touch, and the unique point. Now combining all of it, I have my complete answer. So when the visa officer asks why this university, I could say, I chose NYT over my other admits because I got a scholarship of 20% of my tuition fee and there is one course which is very unique and not there in my other admits. Plus, living and experiencing in New York has always been my dream and I get to fulfill that. And NYT has something very unique called the Small Business Development Center where we get to interact and learn from small businesses. So here you go. Here's your updated answer for why this university, which I feel is shorter, crisper and also easy to communicate to the visa officer. Now, I hope that you have prepared your answer for why this university and right now I want you to pause this video, frame your answer and then comment below in the comment section on a scale of 1 to 5, how would you rate your answer? 1 being the least and 5 being the highest. Frame your answer and comment below and let me know what do you think about your answer for why this university, where do you stand on a scale of 1 to 5? The next part of the video, we're going to be showing you some more frameworks for why this university to make this framework even more clear. But before that, let me tell you about our main F1 visa preparation program. It's called the seven day program. 
and this is our flagship program which I would say is the most stress-free way to prepare. It's an end-to-end -end program where we start by analyzing your profile, filling your DS-160 form, framing answers and giving you multiple mocks and all of this will help you get completely ready. We also have a shorter version of it called the core package where we review the form, frame answers and give you a mock. The enrollment for this is open for spring 2025. Uh, some of you are already a part of it. So if you would like to work one to one with me for your visa interview, do check the link in the description box. We also have tons of free resources. There's also a WhatsApp group that you can be a part of and interact with other students who are going for the spring intake. So all the good stuff is right below in the description box. Do check it out. And now we're going to move to the sample answer section of our video. So here are some more sample answers for you. Do keep in mind that all these answers are framed based on that student's profile. So if you are going to take any of these pointers or any of the structure of these answers, please make sure that it is relevant for your profile and uh, it is relevant for your university. So with that uh, in mind, let's look at these answers. Texas State University was the only university among my three admits that offered me two majors, Information Systems and Data Analytics, along with a scholarship of 22%. I've loved adventure sports and their kayaking workshops are a perfect fit. I've also been interested in the research of the Bitcoin domain because I've done a similar project in it. LIO offers an industrial pharmacy specialization that my others admits don't. Plus, I have always dreamed of living and studying in New York. LIU also partnerships with top hospitals and hospital simulation labs, which making it ideal for hands-on training. The bachelor's program at MSU Billings is better ranked as compared to my other admits since uh, there are concepts like financial analytics that are quite advanced and I get to study them. Also, it's a good location to study since uh, the Montana Business Hall of Fame that happens every year uh, where I get to meet uh, industry experts and then gain the industry exposure. Additionally, I get to learn under Professor Scott Butterfield who uh, would be teaching me financial and managerial concepts. Uh, his uh, ongoing research on impact of economic events on small businesses is something related to my 12th subject and I'm interested to read about it. State University is higher ranked as compared to my other two admits. The course here is a mix of technical concepts like IT and analytics along with finance and accounting. When I spoke to the admission counselor, I realized that the university will teach me from the basics. Since I don't have much background in technical, additionally, their small businesses development center allows us to work at small local businesses, helping me get real life business experience. So I hope you found this video useful. And if you have any other doubts, any questions, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. You can also DM me on Instagram. My Instagram handle is at shashi.mal. And next up in the spring 25 series, we have the very confusing and the very commonly asked question, why US? So do stay tuned. This video is going to be coming up real soon. And signing off for now, I really hope that all of you have a good F1 visa interview and all of you get your approvals. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.